Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And um, today I am, some weird message just popped up on my uh, screen on my phone from <laughs> Instagram. I have no idea what that's talking about. So hopefully I'm live in the right place and uh, all is going to go well. Um, but I am assuming that I am, so I'm just going to continue on until I see something other than that. <laughs> But uh, I'm just going to show you, yep, it looks like I am good to go. And i um, just going to show you today how I made a couple of little, one's a little treat holder and one's a little gift card holder, actually, with the um, pretty pillow box dies. So these are some, uh, it's a great little set of dies. And um, when I initially looked at it, I'm like, huh, it won't fit a gift card. And then I saw a couple of other demonstrators who turned them into gift card holders. And I'm like, brilliant so <laughs> so it's a and like I said it's a great little die set and really easy to use and really quick to put together so hey Bree and Patricia and Julie and Danette and Elise and Debbie so yay I am glad that you guys are all here and um, hopefully you enjoy the uh, video and um, can figure out I'm trying to get there we go I had this annoying thing that popped up over the screen and I couldn't see it on my phone what I was trying to see anyhow uh, all right, so here we are. This is the die set, and again, these are the pretty pillow box dies. And they're in the front of the catalog and kind of hidden a little bit. They're not really showcased very well. They're in with all the gingerbread and peppermint stuff. So I did use that designer series paper on it, but you know, they're a great set of dies and you can use them with anything. So you don't have to get everything all together. Um, however, it's a, it works and coordinates nicely with that set of uh, products as well. But it's a great set of dies. This is actually the main pillow box die. And then there are a couple of these little accessories dies that fit nicely right into here so if you wanted to do a little decorative edging on it you can certainly put this die in and do that and then here's another one that puts a little decorative um, edging on it as well so you can slide that right in there and um, they work hand in hand together this one has got a little um, like a string hole basically that you could put in it so again if you wanted to poke little holes in there and tie tie a bow or a ribbon or something pretty in there um, you could definitely do that so that's what those dies are for if you've been wondering looking at it and like what in the world would you use that's what they're for <laughs> and um, then again there are some accessory pieces there's a little tag there's one for a sentiment this one fits the sentiment and then there are just the little flower dies so again it's a really good set of dies if you don't have it you should get it you know just trust me <laughs> so um, all right uh, of course the video is saying it's frozen I don't know what's going on anyway oh gosh this causing all sorts of trouble I'm just going to continue on and pretend like I that everything is good I'm assuming it is hopefully it is um, anyhow so this is what we're going to be making today. So what I used is the Sweet Stockings stamp set bundle for the sentiment and the little holly that I've got on here. So as you can see on the tag, there's a little piece of holly and a little um, little berries on it, and then the For You sentiment, and that all came from this stamp set bundle, which is the Sweet Little Stockings. So we've got the For You, and um, that's what I used for the, the tag, and then I used the little holly and the berries from the Sweet or from the stockings dies and these are coordinated together in the mini catalog as well and you can get a discount if you order these as a bundle which of course you're going to want to so all right uh, let me set a few things aside here a couple things before we get going so stampin up just announced today that they have got a seasonal sale that will be happening november 16th to the 18th which is next week tuesday through thursday those dates only and it's going to be 10% off cardstock in the annual catalog, 15% off ink pads that are not bundled together in the annual catalog, and 20% off the annual catalog dies. Um, so this is all happening again next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is the uh, 16th, 17th, and 18th of November. So there, I'll be posting all the details on my blog for this tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. If you're watching this video on Wednesday, you'll see the details in the blog post. Um, but there's a flyer that's attached um, in the details that I'm posting. And it's got everything that's listed as well as the sale prices. So it's got everything that's going to be on sale. So just be aware of that. That is coming. So hold off on buying those things until then. <laughs> hey, Sherry, thanks for joining. And Donna and Marilyn and anybody else that I missed. Um, a couple other things. Stamp It Up has got their Eden's Garden uh, early release products that are available right now for sale. It's a very beautiful set of products. There is a stamp set and die bundle. And then there are some beautiful papers. The stamp set and dies are going to be in the next um, mini catalog, the January to June 1, 2022. The paper, uh, the two sets of paper, the 
specialty paper and the cotton paper and the garden gems, none of those items are gonna be in the next catalogs. They're only available while supplies last, so make sure you grab it while you can. Um, and then you can order the whole collection of things if you would like to with one, one number. Um, but again, you can order items individually as well. And you definitely are gonna want some of the paper and the gems because they're beautiful. All right, uh, last thing, Stampin' Up! has got a, an awesome deal going on. If you join as a demonstrator during the month of November, you actually are gonna only pay $75 for your starter kit and you still get to pick $125 worth of merchandise. It still ships for free. Um, you pay tax on it if that applies in your area, but the shipping is free for the uh, starter kit. You're gonna get some catalogs in there. You're gonna get a free paper pumpkin kit. Um, you're gonna get a few other little business supplies and then whatever you want for $125 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise. So it is an awesome, awesome deal. If you're not a demonstrator already, you should seriously consider joining. And the other bonus is that if you join between the 16th and the 18th, you actually get the sale prices on the items that you're gonna be putting in your starter kit. So it's an even better deal. So <laughs> let me know if you have questions about that. If you're interested in joining, uh, give me a holler. I'd be happy to chat with you more about it. Okay, so let us get going. Finally, after all of my yakking, um, I've got a couple of pieces of designer series paper here. And again, these are from the Gingerbread and Peppermint 6x6 designer series paper pack. And I wanted to show you kind of start to finish how easy these really are to make. I'm just gonna lay this die right on top of here and run it through the die cutting machine uh, once with this paper and once with this paper. And you get to pick which side you prefer to have up um, for these. I'm gonna do a little bit more kind of the background designs on it. And um, if you are using a bigger piece of paper that won't fit through your die cutting machine in one swing, um, you can actually cut it to, it's about four and a half inches wide for this die. It's a little bit under that, but four and a half inches will give you plenty of room and you won't have to worry about, you know, accidentally cutting an edge off or something that you didn't want. So about four and a half inches by six inches and you'll have a perfect size piece of designer paper or paper or cardstock or whatever you're gonna cut this with um, to use with this die. So let me, uh, my die cutting machine is off to my right. So I'm gonna be off screen for us second cutting these. Hopefully y'all are enjoying your Tuesday. It's turned out to be a beautiful day here in New Jersey. It was a little cool this morning, but we are, uh, gosh, it's probably got to be 65 outside right now, which is fantastic for, um, what day is it? The 9th of November. <laughs> I can't complain about that at all. Uh, one other thing that I did want to mention as I'm doing this and uh, talking when I'm running this through the die cutting machine, I'm actually running it through one time and then back again, just so that I get a really good embossing on the little oval pieces here. Uh, particularly on the one that I'm gonna turn into the pillow box, the one that looks like that, you wanna make sure you're, you're able to see where those embossed lines are at. Um, my other one that I'm gonna turn into the flat gift card holder is not as much of a uh, concern with that. So that one I can just run through once if I want to which I'm doing that right now. I must have sent your warm weather. Oh man, <laughs> it's 73 in Delaware, my goodness. Here I thought we were having a good day. I don't know, I guess it, maybe it's warmer than I even think. I know I was outside earlier and I'm like, I don't even need a jacket. So, and it's November. All right, so I've got my two die cuts done. I'm gonna use this one and turn it into this little treat box. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my bone folder and there are some straight score lines on here. So I'm gonna score up here at the top, and then score here in the middle. And I'm just gonna take the bone folder to do that. And then here on the side, hopefully you can see there's a score line right there. And all you have to do is just follow that score line and crease it. Another score line here, same thing. You're just gonna follow the score line and crease it. And then you're gonna turn the box and do the same thing on the other side. Follow the score line if I can do that. Sometimes my fat fingers <laughs> don't always um, do what I want them to do. Same thing here, just gonna follow the score line and crease it. Um, the one thing that I did do, just because it's a little bit rounded, is I actually rounded the top just a hair with my bone folder by doing that. It's not a necessary thing, but I just found it a little bit easier to get a nicer kind of rounded look to the top of the um, box if I did that. So. All right, so I'm gonna grab my liquid glue, and I'm sorry, there's a really loud truck going by, and plus the neighbors across the street have the their lawn guys out, and so they're blowing leaves, and I hopefully you can't hear too much of the racket. <laughs> All right, so just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue inside the, the score line here, and I'm gonna put the two together. So, oop, gonna bend this one down. 
put this one on top and then just fit them again as I tell my fat fingers to do that um, just fit them one on top of the other and I'm gonna have to hold it for just a second because it is liquid glue you can use the um, uh, stamp and seal plus if you would like I tried that actually on uh, the first one that I made and it worked fine the only issue I had with it is it's kind of a small area that you're working in and so I it wasn't terrible to do it but it just wasn't super super easy <laughs> so um, you can definitely use that if you prefer that as your adhesive um, but this one uh, definitely works so oh you only hear me okay good deal I don't know if you really want to hear me but <laughs> I'm hoping that you weren't hearing all the the racket outside because I'm like gosh of course I want to get started on my video and what happens everybody turns their lawn blower leaf blowers and everything on it's that time of year I guess all right so same thing on this side just putting a little bit of that liquid glue on the kind of the oval the oval if that makes sense and I'm just gonna stick the sides together here maybe there we go, we're getting it. And I wanna make sure that I get down here in the bottom and get that adhered together as well. And then I'm just gonna fold over the top. And that's really all there is to putting these together. They're super, super simple. <laughs> so, um, so let me go ahead and put my lid on my liquid glue. Uh, next up, oh, what fits inside it? I was gonna show you, again, just cause we have um, lots of Halloween candy around here. So the little mini sized candy bars fit nicely inside it, if that gives you an idea of how big it is. I grabbed a couple different ones. So if you ever got a little Reese's one, um, those little gear deli or gear deli, however you say it, squares would fit inside here. Um, I'm sure that if you have the little mini Hershey candy bars, I'm guessing you could probably fit three or four of those inside here without any issue. Um, but just wanted to give you, give you an example of things that you can fit inside it. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my um, Real Red spool of ruffled ribbon, Real Red ruffled ribbon, that's a lot of R's. And then I'm gonna just chop off a piece of that. Hopefully get it a little bit longer than I need. Uh, sometimes I think it's a little longer than I need and then I go, gosh, that really wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> and we're just gonna wrap that right around the center of the box and crash into everything as I do it. And I'm going to tie just a quick bow on here. Again, I say quick bow as I uh, do it on screen. It probably won't be quick, but <laughs> it actually, it should be fairly quick. So there we go. Um, not a beautiful bow, but it's done. So there we have it. I'm going to trim off this side just a little bit more. Um, felt like that one's a little bit longer. And then we've got our tag to do. So again, a super simple little tag. I have die cut this from basic white cardstock and I used the, um, this is the little die, the tag die from the Pretty Pillow Box dies. So this one is actually included in the set. So hey, Gian, thanks for hopping in. Um, and we are gonna stamp with the sentiment from the Sweet Little Stocking stamp set. And it's just one that says for you. So you can pick whatever sentiment you want. Um, there's, there are a couple of stamp sets, and of course I don't remember off the top of my head which ones there are, that have little to from on them. So if you prefer to have it be to from rather than for you, you can definitely do that instead. So there we go. And I'm stamping it in real red ink if I didn't say that. And I die cut ahead of time as well, the little holly leaves and holly berries. And just gonna use a couple little glue dots to um, stick these to the, the tag. So, oh yes, I love that the label die actually comes in it too. So it's a, it's a good set of dies. Like I said, if you don't have it, um, even if you're not terribly excited about making the pillow boxes, there are a lot of other good dies in it as well. So just gonna use a rolled up glue dot to adhere the little um, holly leaves. And then another rolled up glue dot to adhere, adhere the holly berries. I have to make sure that I'm putting this the right side up. <laughs> so it's hard to tell kinda, I don't know. Um, although I should know because my um, cutting pads are all chopped up. And so when it's the wrong side up, you can see all the chop marks on them. So, all right, so that's it for the tag. It was super, super simple. I tried to keep it kind of, like I said, as simple as possible, especially if this is something that you're gonna be making a stack of these, um, which a lot of times when you're making little treat packaging, you are making more than one. Um, so I try to, to keep them on the simpler side because I do a lot of these types of things for teachers and that type of thing, bus drivers and, you know, uh, lots of people who need to have gifts around the holidays. So oh, there we go. And I've got some white Baker's twine, maybe. There we go. <laughs> From the uh, Essentials Baker's twine pack. And I probably should have cut that longer, but um, for whatever reason, I didn't. All I'm gonna do is tie a little knot around the bow to 
tie the tag to the bow. Now, if you are really good at doing the bow tying thing, you can definitely um, probably tie the tag to the bow itself uh, or use the bow and like tie it into the bow. Does that make sense? I don't know, hopefully I'm making sense, but I could actually have tied it in here. Um, but I just, I don't know, sometimes I struggle with that and it doesn't always work out as well as I hope that it will. <laughs> so um, I usually tend to tie my little tags to the bow. And also it makes it easier when people are tying and untying things uh, to have, sort of have the tag separate. So there you go. So that is number one, super easy. So again, that's the one little treat holder. Now the one that you probably all are more interested in seeing is the one that you can convert this into a gift card holder. So again, we've got the same piece of paper that we've cut with the same die. The only thing that you're gonna need on this one is a scoring tool. So what you wanna do is bring in your scoring tool and you can either use this one or the regular scoring tool with the, the stylus in it. And you're gonna line this up so that, well, actually I'm gonna do this one first, I think. Um, there we go, we're gonna line it up. And I'm probably off screen because I'm talking and not paying attention. Um, so you wanna line it up so that the score line is gonna go this is my score line right here, and I want it to be right here, right here at the corner, and right here at this corner. So you're gonna run a score line that's gonna go right down the center of this sort of oval, and it may be easier to actually see it if I have the die out. So you can see, hopefully, this is kind of the oval. Your score line is gonna run straight down the middle of those. So you're gonna score it from top to bottom, straight down the middle on both sides of it. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, if not, <laughs> let me know, um, but that is what I'm trying to show you, what I'm doing here. And I've got my uh, scoring tool here. All right, so hopefully you can see that I've scored it straight line here. Then I'm gonna flip it and do the other side of it. And again, you're just gonna line up so that you're in, and I'm hoping I'm on screen, I think I am. Um, so you're gonna line up. This one's a little bit, it's not difficult, but um, it's easier to line up if you have a flat or a straight and we've got the straight right here in the middle, so that'll help me to get it straight up and down. And then all I have to do is just make sure that I'm lined up in the right spot along the edge. Just gonna do another little score thing here. And then we'll get this out of the way. Now, what I'm gonna do next is fold here on the score lines and do a quick little burnish with the bone folder. So, Yep, it's definitely, definitely can, um, it works great on this, and I'm glad it worked to show you on the die because it's, you know, <laughs> it's hard to see the score lines on the paper, especially when it's designer paper and it's got all sorts of crazy designs on it. All right, so there we are. So I've just folded all of those in, folded the half ovals, I guess, in. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take these two little flaps and I'm going to adhere them to the actual front of the gift card holder. And I'm going to use, again, liquid glue to do that. And you don't need a ton of liquid glue, um, just enough to hold it. And I am gonna have to hold it a second to make sure it sticks down. All right, flip it over on the other side and do the other one. So there we go. And try not to get too much that you don't have it oozed all over the place because that is, that is what I do a lot of times with liquid glue. I get a little, little heavy handed and then I end up with a mess. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, and this is kind of the more important one, is you got this one glued to the front what you wanna do is put the glue on these flaps. So you're gonna put the glue on the flaps and then we're gonna fold this in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and do this, the uh, scoring here. So that's ready to go. And then I'm gonna make sure that my flap is down and I'm gonna put a little liquid glue on either side of it. So I'm gonna put it around the curve as well as put it kind of closer to the edge. And again on this one, just gonna put it around the curve and kind of closer to the edge, but not so close that it's oozing out and making a huge mess everywhere. All right, so we've got the glue on the flaps, we've got this one glued to itself, and then all you do is, ta-da, it's like magic, and I knew you'd be like, oh. <laughs> fold the two together, hold it for a second, and make sure that it um, is, so make sure that it, uh, is stuck well, and yes, and thank you, Karen, for commenting. I totally missed the uh, gift card question. So this is an old, old, like way old gift card. You can see it expired in 2016. So I've had this one. This is my like sample one that I use for, <laughs> for any time I need to, to test out a gift card holder. So it will fit very easily one of your standard sized gift cards. So it slides right in there. 
Um, I do recommend sliding your gift card in and then folding it over just because the gift cards are a little thicker and depending on exactly how they you know, fit inside here, you may want to adjust where the score line is at here a little bit, but that's all there is to it. So it's super simple. Just do a score line, straight score line along here and along here, fold the flaps in, adhere them to themselves and then adhere the thing together and you've got a gift card holder. So always, always looking for things that I can do, you know, something other than just a standard little piece of candy. Because I do, again, for teachers and um, bus drivers and those kinds of people, I do a lot of gift cards for um, school-related things. So again, I'm just gonna take that same ruffled red ribbon, gonna tie it around the little gift card holder, and then we're gonna do another tag, and then we're gonna be all done. So. How's that? You get two treat holders <laughs> for the price of one today in your admission. Uh, so, but it's a super easy, super easy way to convert it into a gift card holder. Um, and I hope that y'all do it and give it a try and get this set of dies because it's, it's really a good set and very useful. And I've got one string that's way long here. So we're going to trim that one up, hopefully, just a little bit. So there we go. Um, again, I've got the same thing because I'm not particularly creative and I want it to be done quickly. Uh, I've got my same little die or same little die cut here, um, the little tag from Basic White, and I've got my real red ink pad and my For You sentiment from the stockings, uh, Sweet Little Stockings stamp set. And we're going to stamp that. And then I've die cut from Old Olive and uh, Real Red, which I probably totally forgot to say the colors of the card stocks. Um, the cut from Old Olive and Real Red um, from the stockings, or with the stockings dies, um, cut some little embellishments for this. I'm just going to put my glue dots and kind of roll them up here on the back and stick that on there. Do another little rolled up glue dot to stick on the holly berries. And again, just making sure that I've got them the right way around. Use my watered up glue dots. Um, and I tend to use glue dots on things like this that have the little slits in them because if I don't, I end up with liquid glue kind of oozing out everywhere. And then it makes a mess and I don't like that. I don't like stuff sticking to me and everything else. And anyway, so that's why I use the glue dots. They're a little bit less messy, at least when I use them. I know there are many who can use liquid glue without making a big mess. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to take the uh, same uh, white um, twine from the... Essentials Baker's Twines, almost forgot the name of it, and going to tie the little knot here to hold the tag to the bow, and then we're going to be all done. So there we go. So that's it. <laughs> so two quick and simple, um, super easy, same die sets, uh, same stamp sets. One you can use as the gift card holder, one you can use as a treat holder, and um, you're all set. So that's it. Let me know if you have questions about anything. Um, I will definitely uh, be posting a link to my blog or adding a link to my blog in this video so you'll be able to see all the details tomorrow. And um, I tried to describe it and do a written tutorial as best I could. It was a little hard to describe how you do the scoring. So I'm hoping that everybody will just watch the video. <laughs> so that makes it easier. Hopefully it's a little, for me, I'm a very visual person. So when I saw somebody else do it, I'm like, oh, Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So that is it. Um, just wanted to let you know that I actually will not be going live on Friday. We have a Stampin' Up! event that's running through most of the day on Friday. So I'm not going to be going live on YouTube on Friday, but I'll be back here live Facebook, on Facebook uh, next week, Tuesday, around 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And then the following Friday, around 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, um, out on my YouTube channel. So thanks a bunch for joining today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the project and um, let me know if you have questions and we'll chat soon.